I'm Nathan Pierce, the creative director for the platform department in uh, Sony Online. I'm going to show you a launch pad. It's going to be the new way you log into all SOE games. It's pretty cool. I'm going to show it to you now. Uh, instead of uh, each game having its own launch pad, uh, there's going to be one consolidated one. You log in and it's going to show you which SOE games you have a, a subscription for. You can click on the game you want and off you go. You're already uh, downloading the update. You can check out the news. Check out the update notes so you can check out your characters while you're waiting. Uh, you can also select which character you want to play when you get to when you, you're done with your update. And you can turn autoplay on so that once um, once it's done updating, it, it just launches straight into the game. If you want to back up a step, you can also use a launch pad to add on expansion packs. Say you want to buy Kingdom of Sky, you can do it with just a couple clicks if you have a credit card on file. And off you go, you're already downloading Kingdom of Sky. Pretty neat stuff. Back you up again. If I want to try a new game, uh, let's say Planet Side, um, I can click that, decide I want to buy it, uh, pick my forum handle, pick my uh, subscription, and any expansions I like, and I'm done. Same credit card on file pays for that. Now, the best part about Launchpad, in my opinion, is this little tab right here, the Friends tab. So, SOE game players know that friends are the core of MMOs. And if you've been playing our game for a long time, you probably have lots and lots of friends lists in, uh, in different games. This Launchpad friends list takes them, pulls them all together, even your old uh, EQ friends list back from six, seven years ago. So when you launch, uh, log into Launchpad for the first time this summer, you're going to see all your EQ friends and all your Planetside friends, Star Wars friends, EverQuest 2 friends, and you'll see them in the game that they're playing now. So if you made a, uh, friends with this guy, Axiom, back in uh, EQ1, and he's now playing EQ2, you're going to see the same EQ1 character name that you remember Axiom as, but he may be a totally different character playing a totally different game now. You're still going to be able to double-click his name and have a chat with him, and it won't reveal his ultimate character's name. And uh, that's the way we're going to promote cross-game and cross-server community from, from now on. So that's the launch pad. Look for it uh, this summer for um, EverQuest 2, Planetside, and Star Wars Galaxies. Thanks a lot.